Hi handsome and welcome to my 37th video. It's been a while, I'm sorry for making you wait so long. But I am finally back with another Iron Pen episode. This time we have some good news and some bad news. I'm going to start with the good ones because there really isn't that much of them. The good news is, as the title of the video suggests, that I made 1 billion Valenos meals without the use of the central market. Believe me, this was not an easy task. and it kind of made me reconsider the entire challenge, which is where the bad news start. I'll just be blunt about it. I think that 1 million meals is good enough. So I think that going forward, we will change the challenge to only make 1 million of every single meal, instead of the two that I outlined at the start. There are a bunch of reasons for this, so let me explain myself a bit. By far, the biggest problem is time. It's been 4 months, almost 5, since I started the challenge. And I just got halfway through a single meal in those months. One meal out of 17. Yes, I made some progress on the other meals in the meantime too. But even then, there is no way that I would be able to finish this challenge within a reasonable time frame. This is combined with the second biggest problem in making this even remotely feasible of a challenge. And that's bottlenecks. I have already talked about some of these bottlenecks previously, namely cooking honey and coconuts. For the record, both of these can only be done by workers. There is some go around, but you don't really get any substantial amount considering how many we need to the point where it might as well be just workers. Here is how long it would take me with the best workers having the game running 24 7. It would be 4 years for cooking honey, 6 years for coconuts and well, you would think that this is the worst, right? Six years, that's kind of a long time, but it can be done. But may I introduce you to the new challenger for the throne of the most cringe bottleneck in the entire game and the challenge. X. Now, while there are other ways to get X, some of which are at least halfway okay, that I would need to do basically all the time, if we are looking at just the workers for comparison, it would take me 25 years of the best workers working around the clock. And these are just the main bottlenecks. There are multiple other bottlenecks, small and large, along the way that make certain meals just a waiting game. This then led me to a crossroad where I would have to break one of the things I set up to do at the beginning of the challenge 5 months ago. I would either have to buy some of these bottleneck items from the center market because there is simply no way that I'm waiting 25 years for the challenge to end or I could lower the requirements. In the end, I think that making a lot of something in the game is cool but if it is achieved by just standing at the cooking utensil 24-7, then it kind of loses its luster. And if I allow buying items from the center market, it feels like there really is no point to the videos that I'm making about it either, since the amount made is not the main focus of it. This would still leave one giant question mark around the X, because even halving the required amount of meals, and therefore the required amount of X, is still like 12 years of waiting 24-7 for workers, but there are other ways to get X, so maybe it might be more manageable, like I said. And it more importantly does make it easier for me to produce videos and to challenge more often, because there are more checkpoints that I can bounce between and make videos on them at a reasonable pace and I'm not stuck at a single meal for like 2, 3 or even 4 months at a time. There is also the question of certain meals that don't quite work the same way as the rest. Namely, this will be the Special Alton Specialty Meal, the Balax Lunchbox, Margoria Seafood Meal and the Landon Morning Light Good Bubs. These are different for two different reasons. Balax Lunchbox and the Margoria Seafood Meal don't have a special variety. This, in theory, should make them the fastest meals to make, since you make fewer meals of the higher quality variant, even though so, according to Pediolytics, it still requires the same amount of crafts, so there's a chance that I just don't understand how cooking exactly works and you make the special variety on top of the regular one instead of instead 
of the regular one like I thought that you do. If this is actually the case, then that would mean that I would need to make a little bit more of these two meals compared to the other ones. But then again, if I use the balanced meals as an example, since it's something that I have done already, I did make 1 million of the regular meals, which means that I have around 200,000 of the special variety of balanced meal that I am not really counting for anything. So like in reality, I made 1.2 million of the meal, but I'm only counting the one and I don't really know what I will do with the special variety. So this is not really that big of a problem. What is a problem are the other four meals, the free good buffs and the special out on special to Neil share the terrible quality for some reason of not being crafted at multiple times. They don't make multiple items from a single craft. This means that unlike the 300,000 crafts that I need for the Balanos meal and even the like Balak's lunchbox and Margoria seafood, I will need to make a million crafts for the good buffs and the special item specialty meal if I wanted to make a million meals. They don't have the special variant either, so that doesn't help at all. I'm, I'm not really sure what to do in this case if I should keep to the idea of making 1 million meals, therefore this would take me 1 million crafts and take roughly 3 times longer. Or if I should just be, okay, I made 300,000 crafts of the other meals, that means that, okay, I will make 300,000 crafts of these meals as well, even though in the end effect they will not have 1 million meals, they will only have 300,000 meals. So yeah, I will leave this to you guys in the comments below. If you really want me to suffer and you really want me to see make 1 million of every single Gugbub, do let me know, okay? If you want me to do it, I will do it. Those are the main problems out of the way. This will remain for the entirety of the challenge. And now I have something that is more temporary. There are simply way too many events that incentivize grinding. The last month alone has been so heavy on grinding events. Like we had the Spook event, then we had the Cup event. Now we have the Shakato event. Who knows what will come next? And we didn't get a single life school event until this week. This made me want to grind more because I felt like I was getting punished by doing life skills during these events, which also had the unfortunate side effects of making me realize that my PvE gear really isn't where I would like it to be, so I am kind of looking into upgrading it, with my next upgrade of choice being Pendebos. Yeah, I know I'm crazy, but I don't like enhancing, so going the Karazad route just doesn't feel like a good idea for me. I also started learning how to do AOS because of another video I have in the making and all of this took time away from the challenge. Thankfully, we are now finally getting really good life skill events, so it no longer feels like I am being punished for being a life skiller. And this has reignited my passion for gathering especially. So this will not be as much of a problem now. But I am sure that this situation is going to repeat in the future because this, is not, this was not the first time and it's not going to be the last time. Last, I guess, problem is kind of meta and is that I don't really want to box myself in as a content creator. No, this doesn't mean that I'm gonna jump ship like every other video content creator under the sun and suddenly start making videos on Front and Liberty. Absolutely not. I have no interest on making content on any other game outside of BDO. But what I mean is that uh, I don't want to be known as just the guy who does the Iron Fan. This has never really been the case, but I want to avoid it as much as possible. And if I really wanted to push the challenge, I would have to possibly risk just doing that and nothing else. And that would probably lead me to burn out from the game and not make content at all. So I'm taking this precautionary step as a way to make sure that I like the game and therefore my content is always at least watchable, if not good. That being said, I'm not canceling the challenge. I need to make this completely clear. All I'm doing is changing the required goal from 2 million meals to 1 million. So basically halving the required amount that I need to make. With the wisdom that I have now that I maybe didn't have when I started the challenge and I thought that it would just be fun. I've been thinking about this for a very long time now and I feel like this is the best way to do it. To have some sort of goal to chase because 1 million is still a lot while not completely burning out or boring you guys. When I started the challenge I thought it would be a fun way to combine somewhat educational videos showing my handsome viewers some forgotten and not explored parts of video under the guise of the challenge, which I think I'm managing to do quite well. And I will be continuing to make these kinds of videos, so if you enjoy that part of the challenge, nothing will really change for you. I'm also not opposed to making 2 million of every meal in the future, whenever that may be. I just think that for the sake of the video format and my own mental health, making it shorter would make more sense. The next two videos in the challenge will be on red meat and grains respectively. Those will be larger videos, so stay tuned for 
those. And I also have other videos planned for both the near and the not so distant future that are not in the challenge itself. So if that's if the challenge is something you don't really like, you might have some more variety like I just talked about. So yeah, we made a million Balanos meals, which made me realize just how insane the idea of making 2 million of them really is. I should also really apologize to you handsome for not uploading anything on the channel for over 20 days. Sadly, I got laryngitis, so I was basically unable to speak at all. And in combination with work and my maybe foolish focus to do streaming over videos, I completely fucked up. So I again completely apologize. I hope this won't repeat in the future and I have more videos coming faster in the following weeks to hopefully compensate for my lack of time management skills. With that being said, that's everything I have for you today. Remember to like and subscribe. Do tell me what you think of my decision for the future of the challenge and also how terrible of a YouTuber I am for making you wait this long for a video and enjoy your grind.